Welcome, Virgo, to your Astro Dice reading for November. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Hey, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with you this month. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay. Give us the best house for the month. Best house for the month. Excuse me, guys. We have Saturn coming out with your own energy of Virgo in the fifth house. Ooh, talking about that love. Talking about that love and the things you create. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So it's discovering. What are you discovering? Some of you might even be discovering some kind of creative ability that you didn't know you had. Like maybe you're finding out you can draw a lot better than you thought you could. Okay, here we go. The part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. So it could even feel like it was a challenge to gain this. Okay. For some of you who might be um, in college, maybe you're finding out that this, this uh, area of studies is maybe a challenge to you and you're gaining a lot of wisdom though from it. So you're saying, wow, you know what? I didn't know this. But, and it is challenging because it's something I don't know, but I'm gaining a lot of wisdom out of this area that they're teaching me. I am seeing that as well. Very interesting. And, but you're using your own Virgo energy over here. So the studying of it is going to be very good for you, right? It's, you're not going to want to put down a challenge, right? Because any kind of information that you can learn, you're really going to step up to the plate right there. So, but we're also talking about love. So. But remember, we're also talking about where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. So that area that I was talking about earlier about in school, it could be learning to draw, learning to create something. Maybe you're learning something, you know, that you uh, can use your hands with creating pottery or something. Something kind of artistic seems to be going on over here or learning something about art, um, artistry. Maybe it's, like I said, a little bit of a challenge, but you're enjoying it. Um, Virgo likes a good challenge. We know that, right? We know that. And even though it's a Saturn card, which is talking about that Capricorn. Um, wow, and if you guys are Capricorn rising, you're going to be in all for it. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with you, Virgo, over here. straight into this. This is uh, going to be the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Most Virgos are actually very good with their hands as well. Um, very creative. So that wouldn't surprise me that you may be learning something that you're just enjoying and having fun doing. A lot of musicians are Virgos. A lot of artists. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. In the beginning of the month, there's something you want to let go of. Huh. But we are talking about, for most of you, it's this loving person, this loving man. So we are definitely in the beginning of the month over here at least talking about the romance part uh, more than anything. Or somebody who you believed was a loving man and you're feeling like you might need to let this person go. Maybe, you're the cha maybe, that, maybe they're the challenge. You've learned something about them um, that uh, you're not very fond of. Huh. It just feels like the more that they're doing whatever they're doing, it could be a water sign, uh, the more that, that they're doing things, the more it feels like you guys are disconnecting. So you're feeling like it might be time to let go. Uh, hidden motivations upside down. So, I'm not feeling like, like you're in, it's like the connection, you're learning more that the connection is not as good as it was. Let's put it that way. So um, having the hidden, the hidden motivations upside down. I'm going to look at that card real fast over here. It's under intentions. So in the 
reverse. It's talking about the self-imposed roadblocks are starting to be cleared and your mind is becoming more focused. In fact, all that you need to know will begin to surface in ways that empower you and clear the path ahead. Oh, so there may have been some hesitation about what you really want and about how to achieve it. There may have been others whose hidden motivations were getting in your way, but now is the time of returning power and increasing clarity for yourself. So reevaluating your plans and to take action in the light of your higher intentions. When you get your intentions clear, its strides can be made in directions of your dreams. Got it. So it makes sense actually coming next to this, this loving man. Um, why? Because now you're saying I'm getting clear. I'm starting to let go of this person because I'm starting to get clear about what is really going on um, within this relationship and really focused. And it does feel like something else has pulled your focus away. So you're saying, I'm not going to focus on you as much. I'm going to get, I'm clear about what's going on in the beginning of the month. And now I'm going to start focusing on other things instead of just what you're doing all the time, right? Or focusing on this love. So there is two in one going over here. And like I said, maybe it's because you are creating something. Maybe, you know, you are you have other things that you are proud of, other things that you would like to do within your fifth house besides sitting over here dwelling about what this, this man or woman is doing, right? So, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. This one's under people. So this is a people one. It says people. So that's five of people. So let's just see what this says really fast in reversed. It says there is an energy of loss or desires unmet. Well, see, we kind of figured that out, though, because it almost feels like there's this connection that's no longer there. So you're not meeting up to my desires. You're not giving me what I really need. It feels like you were longing for this relationship um, to take shape um, with this person, but it just continues to keep um, either stalling, they're not coming close to you, they're distancing themselves from you, something of this nature. So it makes sense why you would want to let go. So let's see what's going on over here. Let's get the let go and get a card on that. like the more you learn over here with the Saturn, the more you want to let it go. You're, yeah, you're saying, I don't see my ships coming in on this situation. Um, so it does feel like the part of you that accepts the challenge to gain the wisdom is saying, yeah, the wisdom that I'm starting to get clear about is that you're not going to meet my needs. You're not going to bring in my ships. You're, you know, if anything, you're falling behind. You're separating yourself. It's like, okay, with the Seven of Cups, you wanted this relationship to come through could be dealing with a Scorpio. Like I said, it feels like a water sign for a lot of you. Might not be. It could even be an Aries. <clears throat> but it does feel like uh, you did feel like there was a lot of open doors at one time, but they're, they seem to be kind of scattered energy and kind of doing whatever they're doing. So now this card is saying, look, I'm multitasking. I'm doing other things. I'm, I'm not putting all my attention, heart and soul and everything into you anymore because you're not coming towards me, right? I have other things to do. So the hidden motivations is, yeah, really realizing that there's other things that they're doing and you're working hard on other things as well. What are you, what are they doing, right? So it pretty much feels like they're saying, well, I have other things to do. And you're saying, that's fine. I got other things to do too. And you're becoming very clear of the situation and just working towards the things you want to do now. Okay. It just feels like with the three of coins, you, you're focused on something else um, and they are focused on something else. And I, you know, I just hope that they're not focused on someone else, right? Because we have the three of coins over here. And you might even feel like maybe they're giving someone else a lot of attention instead of yourself. Are they getting someone new? Or are they more focused on a friend or a family member or work or something else? Well, you're saying it doesn't matter because I'm going to focus on work in my family and do the things I need to do. I have other 
challenges to to gain you know to gain access to other things that are important. Okay, so getting to the mid of the month. <clears throat> Present power is upside down. But that's okay. Don't let's not see it as you know as a negative. Uh, taking steps because I don't, you know, just because they're upside down doesn't mean they're negative. It just means, hey, <clears throat> I'm letting go of the power of what I didn't want from you. I've got other things to do. <clears throat> this thing is just not going away. Like, welcome, Paul. Okay. Taking steps. Upside down. That's because you're saying I'm not taking steps toward you anymore. I've got great gratitude. Look at that. Because I've got great gratitude and I've got other things I'm working on in my fifth house. Um, so I'm not going to. Even in the mid-month, if you felt like they were trying to take steps to you, you're stepping away. Why do I feel like it's a back and forth uh, thing? Like they want you when they want you. And so now you're saying, no, you're taking steps towards me. So it really feels that way. Oops. It feels like, you know, as soon as they want to... They want you, here they come, prancing in, and you're saying, no, I'm going to back away from you, because you've come to the conclusion this is a waste of time. That's really what it feels like, the more you keep thinking, right, because you're very clear about the situation, so not going to take steps towards them. Maybe they're expecting you to take steps towards them. Maybe that's what's going on, and you're saying, no, I'm letting go. Uh, with the present power over here, you're saying, I'm not allowing that power there. I have power other places. So you're consciously aware of what they're doing. This one says, um, the man falls off the pedestal and loses control of his beastly concerns about the past and future. Time plans and even daily life can seem out of control. This indicates the loss of balance and even feelings of powerless for you. And I feel like that's what's going on. I feel like this man is this man here. Even if it's a woman, it doesn't matter. I'm not worried about the divine feminine, masculine. I'm not worried about that. I'm just general reading. We're saying this person is coming through and they're accepting the challenge to gain wisdom. Now it feels like almost they're becoming very clear that you're not coming towards them. And you're saying, I'm not fragmenting my energy for this. So it almost feels like these, this card here is not only talking about you, but both of you, right? Because they're finding out, where did you go? I said I was coming toward you and you stepped away. And you're saying, I have other concerns. And this is not, you know, concerning me. This is telling you that you must reclaim your power now and bring your mind back to the present where your true strength lies. Taking any necessary action and remember the power of choosing trust, optimism, and appreciation. Well, you got the appreciation because it says you have the great gratitude. So I'm going to say right here, this is saying this is where you are gaining your power back in a lot of ways. You just have to remember to bring your mind back to the present. Don't be um, in the past too much. Right? Because you have the gratitude and all the thankfulness going on within yourself of other situations because you're already creating happiness in the fifth house you have a lot of happiness already where you are it just feels like this person over here wants to try to turn situations upside down as they're coming towards you in the mid-month and you're saying i deserve so much more um, than this so it does feel like as you're releasing as you're releasing one of the animals you're gaining tight tighter to the other. So we can say well, you're releasing the lion and putting more strength on the, the tiger. Yeah. The tiger is going to be the other situations that are going on within the fifth house, the things that you love, the things you create, the things that you're proud of, things that are, you are going after and letting this person, um, releasing the reins on this person pretty much, right? Yeah, definitely. And you feel like all of a sudden they're coming back to you as codependent, or maybe you felt that you were a little codependent on them, um, wanting them to come back. So you're releasing the codependency towards this person. Um, the codependency would be this ultimate um, want 
of them to continue to keep coming towards you, or you may feel it's the other way around, okay? So it, it does feel like there is this, but it also feels like they could be a little overindulgent in you, and maybe you know this. The overindulgence is, um, actually, it's, it's a part of that, when I want you, I want you, and then I'm coming back at you with so much passion, it's almost like an overindulgence of, um, it feels very like sexual energy. Um, that's why I keep picking up that it could be a male uh, for a lot of you who are watching. It doesn't have to be, though, of course, but it does feel more sexual energy. Um, they get the sexual urges, and then that's when they really want to pick up the pace um, to come towards you as this codependency on you. Um, yeah. So taking steps, you don't want that. You're not supporting this anymore, and you're not supporting their emotions of this energy that they're producing. Right. You're doing things for yourself. You don't see them as being genuine. Wow, that's it right there. It's a generosity card, but I mean, literally, I mean, six of coins upside down. I mean, you're just literally just not seeing them as genuine. You don't see them as the person that you were with before. Because you just see them kind of as wanting what they want when they want it. And you're seeing that in the mid-month because the more you keep seeing them coming towards you now that you're really clear about the situation, you're going to see this type of energy even more because now you're stepping back and you're saying, okay, now I'm watching you from a different point of view because, see, I don't have the ties in my heart the way I did before because now I'm using my clear mind. So the more they're texting you and saying things, you're noticing, I don't know, for some of you, it's almost like you're just using me for... You, you know, for um, your own needs. We'll keep it there. Maybe you don't really care about me. You just need me when you want me, the codependency. And so you're kind of waking up to that and you're saying, no, I got other things to do. I'm very grateful for all the other things I have and you're moving on in that area. And you have a lot of great things coming in um, and you have a lot of studies and you have the king of swords over here. You're saying, I have other things to study. I have other things to do. I might have other people that I need to watch and take care of. You might have children, um, something of this nature. But um, no matter what, you're keeping yourself in a place where you are in control and you're saying, I'm dominating this area and I have the other things to do. That's really all it is. And it's really opening up the gates for you to do all these other things as well. But they do see you as the one for them in their own, I'm going to say fantasy. Could be dealing with a Cancer or an Aquarius as well. Um, I do have Scorpion twice, so I do think it's, wow, or a Capricorn. Wow, I got a lot of Cappy over here too, guys. I said Aries earlier, could be, but now I'm getting so much Capricorn and a lot of water, a lot of uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. A lot of, we'll just say water, earth, or just say water and earth. That's really what's coming through. It doesn't have to be any of those, but that's really what's coming in. You have this joyous fun that's coming in at the end of the month. You know what? It's so just like, you know what? Here comes the fun in the fifth house. You see that? Where you have fun, right? And then we were already talking about the romance. We're talking also about creating the things and doing the things that you're proud of and love. Right? So this... This fifth house of yours this month, Virgo, is really bringing in every bit of the fifth house. It literally has everything. Um, wow. So you're not just talking about one specific thing in your life um, with the fifth house. It's like you're going to be doing it all. I'm over here being grateful, building my own stuff. I got a romance issue going on over here. Now I'm going to have some fun. I'm, You know, here comes the fun. Clarify on the fun. Creative endeavors. There's that creativity again. Wow, having fun, being creative. Now, we've seen that creative before. Like I said, you might be, you know, maybe learning to play the guitar or, or drawing or something of this nature. And then we have this creativity. Oh, look, there's instruments. Okay, and so here we go, right? So you're having this joyous fun. You could be going to the fair. You know, you've got the fairs coming up during the fall. Um, 
family activities. Maybe you're going to a concert because we have events over here, having all this energy and fun. Wow, there's a lot of things going on at the end of the month that is just going to change the energy of all of this over here to saying, hey, let's let's go have some fun bringing the kids out, having some, some great times. Maybe you're going to that, um, I don't know, you may be going for a hayride at the fair. I don't know. And it's all about the family. There it is. See, it's all about the family fun, whether it's Thanksgiving or it's, you know, whatever it is, my friends. But, wow, I just see so much fun. And, you know, it could even be a family, family friends, right? Your best friend you could see is your family, right? So it doesn't have to be blood. It could be however you see family, um, your circle of friends, closest loved ones. Let's put it that way. Um, wow, I just see so much it's just taking a whole different turn at the end of the month into just this, you know, not worrying about this, but just now all of this wonderful stuff. Wow. So with this joy is fun over here, I mean, it's like, do we even need to pull cards? I mean, it pretty much says it for itself, doesn't it? We'll pull a couple cards. I don't think it really needs a whole lot. Look at that celebration. Three of cups. Hey, me and my family and my friends. There it is. Having a celebration. Cycles turning for the creative endure. It's going to actually bring in a cycle change of, you know, of happiness. This overall happiness and this energy change. And I, I don't know if it's so much even really 100% a cycle change as it is really a change in energy for the end of the month to make you feel so good. Right, so it's going to change everything that was going around you um, into this beautifulness of just happiness. And we see the happiness, the change into the happiness and joy. <clears throat> so where you're feeling a little hesitant, a little down, a little worried, a little, you know, multitasking, doing all these things, everything's just changing around. Okay, so, family. Okay, one card for the family. I've got this Leo coming up. So, yeah, it's just talking about you taking control and making sure that everybody is happy. Look, Queen of Wands, what a nurturing, beautiful family card. You know, that's the Leo card, and that's just saying, you know, you're right where you're supposed to be. You're using your intuition. You're full of fiery action, having a great time. You could even be, um, you could even be Leo Virgo for some of you, or uh, even Leo Rising. Um, I don't know, but you're getting a lot of this fiery energy going through. Um, but I do know one thing. Leos are nurturers, right? They watch the pack. They're pack leaders. They're packers because they're lions, the lion pack. So it just feels like over here, sitting on top of this, I'm really seeing that you are in control of your pack and doing everything to nurture the pack. And I, like I said, it doesn't matter whether it's family, friends, friends you consider family, however your circle is. You're letting everybody know you're taking control. You're in control of the situation. And we're going to go out and have some great times. And really being the leader in this situation. Wow. i got to love the Queen of Wands when she's coming out like that. Because she's showing how much she is in control of the situation when it comes to a family, a family um, group. Right? It's that positivity, that growth, using that intuition as well. And then you also have the creativity. And that's, you know, this is great for the fifth house because the queen of wands is super creative. So whatever you're doing, it could even be something very creative that you're also doing to, um, with creative outlets. Right? Let's go. Let's go have some fun. Um, so it's really bringing in that creativity and authority for you. And I also love the queen of wands because she's super protective. So no matter what, if anything were to happen, she's going to protect this family. Lions, right? Don't mess with the lion's family, right? <laughs> okay, guys. What a beautiful reading. Beautiful month in the fifth house. Remember, you have 11 other houses. So we'll see how, you know, maybe they'll start coming up during the month. Okay. But in the fifth house, beautiful. Okay, guys. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.